I thought it was going to be easy because I'd seen a friend of mine who's a film composer, John Powell, who had just done, I think, the third uh, Born Identity, and he said, oh, you know, I, you just, just use the themes that you've been using and you should be fine. Um, and I did use all the themes, but uh, typical of Jerry Brockheimer and, and John Turtletub, there were other elements to the movie, and they said, we really want a really major theme here and a major theme here. So. While the, while the themes from the first movie were utilized, there, there were quite a couple of new themes in the movie, which was, uh, um, it was, it was a lot of work, but uh, I, I, once again, I, I did enjoy it. It was, and I love working with John, Turtle Tub, so, and I'm working with him again, so something must have gone right, you know? <laughs> I understand you just finished Get Smart, yes. and I'm dying to know what kind of musical approach Get Smart required and whether or not you were asked to interpolate the old TV theme? Well, I got to be honest, the first thing I did is I went back and I, I examined, um, I, I, I'd be lying if I said every single one, but I, I, would, I would argue that maybe just about every one of them, just to listen and get the feel and the vibe and then seeing what Steve Carell's done at The Rock and Alan Arkin and, and uh, um, and Hathaway and the whole cast it's just really natural and very well done with a different spin on it so so I had to really find a different way of utilizing the theme which was such a great theme 